<clears throat> hey guys, Will, just time prepping. How you guys doing this morning? Hey, uh, I kind of touched on the algorithm the other day. And there's a lot of people that don't understand how it works still. Some of the newer people, whatnot. So, <clears throat> I'm going to tell you a few more things that I've found out about it. I'll try not to <clears throat> take too much of your time up. Just uh, wanting to let everybody know some of the changes for 2019 and the algorithm and how the algorithm affects the way you do your channel. So part of it is you have to figure out how to get the audience's attention. Uh, there's several ways to do that and I'm going to cover those in a second. The best thing that you can do is you have to have a strong call to action. And really, the way that you can do that is that you can create a thumbnail that <clears throat> will get your subscribers or someone else's attention. Doesn't have to be subscribers necessarily, but perhaps uh, maybe someone out there searching the web for a certain uh, thing, and you use that word in your keywords, and then they'll your channel will just pop up. <clears throat> so you want to make sure that you have. A strong call to action that could be either through your content or even uh, through your thumbnail. You use your thumbnail to get their attention. But if you're going to use your thumbnail to get their attention, after you've got their attention, you've got to keep the attention. So make sure that whatever's in your thumbnail, that you create content to match it. That way, when they click on your thumbnail and they go into your video, then they are expecting... The same thing that they read in your thumbnail. So that's something that you need to think about. That's a call. That's a strong call to action. Another thing that's going to work better in 2019 is going to be uh, they want to see series like uh, I do my series on leather work. I always do it in parts. It's so time consuming that. You can do it all at once, but you would have to speed up the video because it really takes patience to do it. So I, <clears throat> what I do is I cut, uh, turn it into a series. YouTube says that is a good thing. They say that that will retain your subscribers' attention long enough to come back and watch more. So that would be something that you might want to think about. Uh, another thing is you want to have a strong recommendation. What that means is when you go, do your videos or blogs or whatever you want to call them, then you want to make sure that you're always having something that's going to pull them to come back. Like, you know how I do when I network and whatnot, I will do things like telling people, hey, go check this guy out, you know, that is a call to action. Or a recommendation, so to speak. Say, hey, this is Will, just in time prepping. Guess what? Go check this guy out. He is a really good guy. He does this and this and this and this. And that's what uh, is the algorithm looks for. They look for you trying to help the next guy up. They're saying that the thumbnails are actually a great impact that uh, the algorithm or the AI, whatever you want to call it, is always looking at your thumbnails. So the more professional your thumbnail looks and the more information that you can get on it about the content behind the thumbnail is <clears throat> going to be a strong point for you guys uh, trying to get your subscriber count up and be noticed so that you can be... Uh, recommended by YouTube okay once you have uh, the the view uh, the viewers attention you want to make sure that uh, with the thumbnail we're talking about once you get their attention with the thumbnail you want to make sure that your content is great behind it what that means is don't say one thing on your thumbnail and then get into your video and not have whatever you're telling them on your thumbnail. You know, like you could say, uh, you've got to check this out, you know. 
But then when you get in there, it's all humdrum. They are saying that whatever your thumbnail reflects, make sure that your content reflects the same thing. There's a lot of people out there that don't do that, and it all comes down to being clickbait. The algorithm is going to start picking out the clickbait and not rank, not rank your channel. <coughs> okay, they're also saying that the viewers are that they know the viewers more than they know themselves. So most of the creators, they will usually just put their videos out in uh, any time of the day or night. And then they just get in a habit of doing that. Well, you need to train yourself not to do that. They're saying that most people, when they get up to go to work, they have a routine they go through. You know, it's like getting up, getting ready, having a cup of coffee, sitting around, turning on the TV, watching the news or something like that. Well, you're, uh, they're saying that if you can post your videos early in the morning, you'll get more views in the morning than you will in the afternoon or night because people like to do things first thing in the morning. Now, you may disagree with me. I don't care. I'm just, these are just what uh, the algorithm is going to start looking for so these are just helpful t tips uh, as to how you want to start running your channel you may want to make some adjustments to it or <coughs> run it the way you are I don't care you know I'm just trying to help you <coughs> and then lastly I have is <coughs> focus on the thumbnail you I've talked about thumbnails all through this video and the thumbnail now is going to be the most important thing that the algorithm is going to pick apart. You can go to all these networking channels, including mine. You know that I do networking a couple of times a week besides my prepping stuff. And the, they're saying that the thumbnail has to match the content. And they're not going to rank your channel if you're doing a clickbait thumbnail at just to get them in to watch your content because it's not going to work. What they're going to do, what the uh, viewers are going to do is they're going to say, hey, that's a great thumbnail, but they're not producing the content to back it up. So they will quit coming to your channel. They're saying that the algorithm will pick up that clickbait and then just toss it off. They won't consider that to be a ranking, a ranking number. Okay, uh, so it's in conclusion, you guys, it's going to be like this. You're going to have to keep the audience's retention. You're going to have to make a strong call to action. You have to have a strong recommendation. Yeah, thumbnail, the thumbnails are going to have an impact. And then once you uh, use your thumbnail to get them into your channel, make sure the channel has the content that the uh, thumbnail reflects. And if it's clickbait, the algorithm will pick that apart because the algorithm knows this better than we know ourselves. It's just they are always learning. AI will continuously learn the habits of us as humans. And then lastly, focus on the thumbnail to make sure it matches your content. All right, kids. Uh, that's all I really got. I just wanted to come and make sure that I pass my information along to you because I keep... Uh, trying to up my channel content and also to try to get my channel myself ranked higher and higher in the YouTube algorithm. So I hope this uh, video was important enough for you to listen. Make sure that you're listening to the channels all the way through. If you pick, click on a video, make sure that you watch it. You know, if you're not going to have the time to watch the video all the way through don't click on it because the algorithm is going to start picking that up that's one of the things that they're looking for most people if you look in your analytics you'll they tell you what your watch time average is and that's not your watch time it's the people that are clicking on your uh, thumbnails it's a click uh, click to view or something like that is what they call it <clears throat> so if you click on the video do that person a big favor, okay? Watch the video.
don't click on it, watch 10 or 20 or 30 seconds of it, and go on about your t way thinking that you're doing that channel a favor, because you're not. What you're doing is you're making that guy's rankings go down instead of up. I know that you guys think you're doing a, the guy a favor or the woman a favor, whatever, but you're not. You're actually hindering him being able to be ranked. So if, it's like me. If I, think, if I click on your channel, I sit there and watch it, and if I lose interest, I keep it playing while I'm doing something else, multitasking. I'll sit there and watch a video with the headset on so I'm not bothering the people around me while I'm working on my content or while I'm doing something else to improve my channel. That's uh, what we need to do. We need to help each other out by doing that. Instead of click, 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 trying to get a bunch of view, uh, views into different channels, sit there and click on it and watch it. You know, you may not like what you hear or see, but you're doing that person a favor by watching the whole darn video. Just watching a few seconds or up to a minute is not helping anybody at all. Oh, anyway, you know, I could go on and on about that, but that's all right. It's not what this was about. It's about more about the algorithms. So I want you guys to know I love the heck out of you guys. You guys are my family now. And I couldn't do any of this without you because... <laughs> It's just the way YouTube is. They make you. And it's God bless you. God bless me. God bless USA. I'm ready to get off this treadmill. I, I did a whole four minutes today. God bless you guys.